Hi everyone. So this example is based on an exam question uh, that came up pretty much in the 2018 uh, paper and it, it confused a lot of people because they've not seen it. But you've just got to think, where's it pivoting? And it's this idea that it's just about to lift. So it says, a four centimetre tall plank of wood is resting on a table. So that's just telling you it's uniform, so that's fine. The plank is 40 centimetres long with a 15 centimetres cut off the end of the plank. So I know that, that this distance from here to here is 0.15 metres. And I know that because it's 40 centimetres long. Uh, so Tori, does it tell me what the... Uh, it says, oh, the plank weighs 150 newtons. So if, if G was 10, it's 15 kilos, isn't it? Now that acts at the center, so that acts 20 centimeters in. So it's pushing down, say, around here. So I've got 150 newtons pushing around here, which means if that was 40 centimeters, the center is 20 centimeters away, so 0 0.2 meters, which means that this distance here is 0 0.05 meters. It's only five centimeters away. Now, it wants you to plonk these weights on here. So the, the, the weights are going to try to tip it that way, which means that here is going to be the pivot. So my pivot is just there. But if it's just on the point of tipping, it's going to lift off this if it's, as if it's not there. And that's what really caught people out. This bit of it is just being on the point of tipping. But that bit's not going to be there. So the 150 newtons is going to want to swing it anti-clockwise. And the weights on the end are going to want to swing it clockwise. So let's do clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise then. So clockwise, I've got this, this mass of M, Mg. I don't know what the mass is, Mg. I'm trying to swing it around. So I've got Mg times by 0.15 is equal to a force of 150 times by 0 0.05. So I think that will give me 0 0.15 mg is equal to uh, 75, I think. And then the g is 9.8, isn't it? So m will be 75 over 0 0.15 lots of g, which, actually, I put my g in, shall I? So my G is 9.8, isn't it? So G is 9.8. So that gives me, um, according to the completed part, 5.102. So if you think what I want, so really like the mass is 5.1 kilos to two sig fig. So I can fit five one kilo weights on it before it tips. The sixth one will make it tick. So, like this, so, so it says here, be careful what the question wants. It wants to know how many weights can be placed on the edge of the plank before it falls over. So before it falls over, is five one kilo weights. There you go. But that really, really messed with people's heads, that one. But it's this idea of it just tipping. So there is no contact. There's no contact along the, all of it along the bottom there. Right, well done, everybody. That's moments done. See you later. In fact, realistically, that's everything done. All we've got left to do now is a bit of live data. Bye.